Pinhead in Space! I had heard about this movie well before viewing it. The Interstellar Hellraiser movie where the original director Kevin Yeager's version was severely tampered with, so much so that he assumed the infamous Alan Smithy directing credit. And 1996's Hellraiser Bloodline joined that same year's Leprechaun in Space as a double whammy of horror movies unnecessarily playing out amongst the stars. While the first three films in the Hellraiser franchise constitute a fairly solid trilogy, this fourth installment is the last feature to have anything to do with, well, anything. After this, the series would go off on some strange new tangents and ignore nearly all of the previous films in the process. Bloodline reveals the origin of the Lament Configuration Puzzle Box. And I was pleasantly surprised at how intriguing the script by longtime Hellraiser and Wishmaster writer Peter Atkins was during the scene set in 1796 France. This is the first and best of the three time periods the film explores. The longest and blandest takes place in the budget-friendly present day, while the finale takes place on a spaceship in 2127, where a descendant of the box's creator is attempting to destroy Pinhead once and for all. The scenes between Pinhead and a demon princess named Angelique are a lot of fun, and one longs for more scenes between the two of them. It's a messy film that's obviously been tampered with, but it's much better than the shoddy reputation it's been saddled with. Would you like to know more about this film? Click on the link below. Feel free to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.